Welcome to our second annual March Madness Minute. So each day in March you'll be getting a very short video about a tool or an idea with uh, educational technology. And the first one we're starting with is dot storming. So dotstorming.com, it works great on PCs and Chromebooks. It does not work great on tablets or phones. Um, but basically it's similar to Padlet where you can post ideas or images and then the audience gets to vote. So once you log in and it just takes your email and creating a short password, you can add a topic. And so when you add a topic, you're doing this on the teacher portion. So I'm going to say um, topic ideas for March Madness. And here's where I can also choose how many dots each person gets and that'll make more sense here in just a moment and I'm going to be giving everybody a link and not uh, sending invites to each person and I hit create and when I hit create so this is my dot storm it doesn't look like much yet but just hold on and here's my URL which is a little bit nasty if you were going to try to type that in so I'm going to use my QR shortener or I'm sorry my URL shortener and here is my short URL or I could also create a QR code so if you scan that QR code right now um, you can do that with a Chromebook and uh, go to this page but I'll go ahead and send a link out in the video as well so I can see somebody already posted uh, an idea a topic how to make short URLs and thanks Joe Papermaker I can see my part my participants here I'm going to turn off the chat option. That's not something I really need on for this project. So now you can see I have all sorts of great ideas here on the board. And on the teacher side, I get to dot them as well. So I can choose three dots. And I can also delete something if it comes through as inappropriate. And also the student can dot up to three because that's what we set our limit to. And let's see. I'm going to give one a couple. So once I get all my votes in, I can rank by votes. And when we're all done with the project, we can also lock it so nobody can make changes. So please do click on the link that's uh, in the email so that you can put some ideas for our next classes. Thank you.